Here's the situation. A couple of weeks ago, hundreds of people came out to see original electronic jazz fusion music played by my band Sungazer on our very first tour. There are 350 people in this room ready to get down with some jazz. Shub Saran and his band joined us for the tour, cramming 10 people, two drum sets, and a whole lot of gear into one van. I don't like this. That's the plan. Do not break hard. This is the story of Shub Gazer 2019. Transition. That's all right. That's good. <laughs> what? Throw behind you. That's good. So we've acknowledged that Shub's doing a great job. I'd also like to give it up to Angelo. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. I'd, I'd like to thank together. Atlanta tickets, ticket sales were going well. 80 today. Woo. 80 in Atlanta? That's pretty cool. Is Boston sold out? Boston is 236. Oh, go, go. Let's go, Shub. Go, 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 go. <laughs> we made it. Oh. Okay. Yep. All right. This is why we bungee. You You'll see it on my right? story, guy. <laughs> Come on. Just make sure you hashtag Shib Gazer Positivity Tour 2019. Oh, yeah. nice. Ooh. I think this should be my role. I don't even want to play guitar anymore. Give it up for George. So, after driving about 15 hours from New York to Nashville, we met up with our keyboard player, Christian Lee, who had already flown there. Christian. Christian. Christian! Christian! Wow, there he is! Christian! Christian. Hey, dude! Christian! Everybody tight. give it up for Christian! Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's you. Oh, that's me? Yeah. Wow! And this band seat. is lit. Damn! You're giving a drummer a banjo, that's a really bad idea. <laughs> Chips are on, chips are on, chips are on. <laughs> Duh. So the first show of this tour is being run festival style, which means we don't have any sound check. We have to set everything up off to the side of the stage. We've done that before at Rockwood, which we're also going to be doing later on in this tour. It's in New York City. It's also festival style. But yet, Steph, on the first gig, you know, we got a lot of electronics, a lot of variables that we haven't sorted out yet on multiple gigs, so. Yeah, Maybe. so this this is going to be, I don't want to say it's rough, but. <laughs> yeah, it's like we're going to be rushed and uh, the potential for error is higher than I would like it to be, but, you know. Hey! That's, those are the only other transitions. Cool. So then everything else is play the song, stop. Play the cool. song, stop, play the song, stop. Sick. All right, let's have a good first show. Yeah, yeah. The final shit. Uh, my name is Shub Saran. This is my incredible band. Give it up for these guys. So at the show in Nashville, we were joined by Ryan Connors and his band. <laughs> Edit that out. Edit that out. <laughs> Ryan's played before with the New York Nashville Connection on this channel. He's a friend. His band sounded awesome. But because there was so little turnover time between the bands, all the things that we were worried about going wrong in fact, did. How about Ryan Connors? We got a little bit of technical difficulties, but we'll be with you in like five minutes. So many wires, it's just a...
trouble up here. It's great. We can't tell. Oh, oh, okay. Well, thank you so much. But I very much appreciate everybody here being here so, like, positive and excited. And this is so great. Just give me one second to, like, figure this thing out. Um, yeah. <laughs> I have not tried blowing on this cartridge. Uh, we're gonna cut this set pretty short because a lot of these games are just impossible. So, um. <laughs> what should we do? And this is where I'm supposed to give a confessional about the show. Yeah, no, seriously, I'm, I am glad that we had the other guys on stage. They helped pull it together. We did everything we could. The tech stuff was out of our control, but we're gonna iron that out. And uh, it's gonna be gonna be great. So rock, rock, rock on! Yeah. So uh, uh, that was the worst show I've ever, uh, in terms of technical difficulties. That was probably one of the worst I've ever been part of. That was my own shit. We've had this Ableton Live set for like four years now, and you know people are getting kind of the half-assed version of it. But you know the show must go on, and uh, you know at least the musicians on stage are really, really good. Let's hope it goes better tomorrow in Atlanta. Jesus Christ. All right. Day one in the cans. It's kind of a hell of a way to start the tour because I wanted to be positive, but it was hard to under the circumstances. All right, morning of the second day. Uh, yeah, I think I feel a lot better after sleeping. So imagine uh, sleeping is the key to feeling better. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Big E. Hey. Like everything about this gig was probably the roughest. It, it was fun bad. for all the shit yeah, that happened. It was fun. Oh, no, I, oh, yeah. it was a lot of fun. So I'll work on bouncing Electro and Ostinato into just like one backing track file yep. on the car, just so in case anything goes wrong. Yeah. We can run it from the SPDSX, which does like allow backing tracks. Which basically, that's all that is. Anyway, on the way from Nashville to Atlanta, we stopped by Rick Beato's place to hang out and also promote the tour. I have uh, Sean and Adam here. Everybody knows knows Adam. These guys here, they're in town to play tonight. I was going to invite people down to the show, but it's already sold out, so. Yeah, yeah, but uh, we're on a tour. We're playing in Fayetteville, Norfolk, Richmond, New York, and Boston. And we're going to play some jazz for you guys. <laughs> actually got a sound check which was luxurious to say to say the least so hopefully uh, tonight is going to be better than last night last night was fine I'm not bitter I'm not bitter at all <laughs> fourth day we're going from Atlanta today to Fayetteville North Carolina well in the car maybe we can talk to uh, Josh and Jared and Christian about what happens at the end of walk alone so we didn't really do it last night but like Christian and I break like cut off uh -huh. then it's like a freak out with you guys ham doing doing ham and then when the vocals come back in that's that that's the half, uh, half or quarter time or whatever. We got the we gotta mute the vocal samples in the sax solo. The sax right. drum breakdown. Yep, 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 yep. Hi. Oh, oh, oh. I got I got uh, we just got to Fayetteville. And we have like I'm gonna say uh, an hour to kill. So we're taking the opportunity to check into the hotel because it's just 
morale is higher if we get that option. It's getting all situated. Ooh. Green Takis. So which one's Abby? Uh, this is me right here. Have we looked like it's been closed Wait. Are we sure that this is where it is? Yeah. Junk is Horse Pub. Fayetteville's done. Uh, that was a good gig. What is it, 71 people bought tickets and then only 40 people showed up? Okay, thanks for the money guys, but it would've been cooler to see you there, but eh, it's fun. Okay, so this morning we're going from Fayetteville, in North Carolina, up to Norfolk in Virginia. Uh, the actual policy number on me. So unfortunately, uh, Keyboard player Christian Lee's apartment seems to have flooded back in New York. So he's having to like deal with a bunch of shit right now while on tour. He might actually fly out of Richmond just to see if he can get home faster or sooner for the New York show. That really sucks. Uh, and so next to me, next to your desk, um, uh, there should be like. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Chinese harp that I have that might, that, that's probably pretty, you know, unsalvageable at this point. Um, but the piano apparently is fine. Even the speaker that I had on the floor is apparently fine. So much shit. God damn. Damn. Uh, and the oil light just came on, so oh, lots of things are happening right now. Not, not all of them super good, but Positivity Tour 2019 continues. <laughs> This is Nick Positivity Day. Talk 2019. <laughs> and you want me to play on Maybe, uh, Sungazer? Or... Oh. So at this point in the tour, we realized that Josh Bailey, who had been sitting in with Sungazer, needed to go back home for his wedding anniversary and would miss the upcoming show in Richmond. Fortunately, we already have two drummers. <laughs> We got a spare drummer, got a spare drummer, drummer on this tour. <laughs> kind of at the last second, we made the decision for Sean and Angelo to learn each other's sets as second drummer. Sean learning Shub's music and Angelo learning Sungazer's music. We got two <coughs> long car rides. Yep. Actually, we had, tomorrow's only an hour. That's long enough. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Kind of a slippery thing. Yeah, a three. I just swallowed through all that, yeah. Sack. Last night was a lot of fun. Today, we're headed to Norfolk, which I think is going to be the smallest show on this tour. I think we only had about 30-something pre-sale. As long as there's more people in the audience than on stage. Hey! Hey! <laughs> All right, sweet. This is the live stream. Who's in the bus? Well, there's ten people here. Sound, Sound off. off. A B Q R one F. We're all here. We're all here. That's it. <laughs> Yeah, I mean it still sounds like fast and impressive. With the... Let me try 110. Just to yeah, see. let's let's bump it up just for fun. 110. 
I mean, I like how the fives feel when it's just groovy. the shortest part of the routing. It's just like one hour, which is really useful. Uh, yeah, we all got a good night's sleep last night. Interrupting content again? Yeah, we're, <laughs> content. We're, we're never not doing content. We may have content! Number? What is 299. It? Woo! It's insane. 299. That's how much a uh, kind bar costs in a New York City bodega. <laughs> hey. From here, a couple of great shows under our belt, really getting into the groove of things after the technical difficulties of Nashville, we headed back to New York City to play our hometown show at Rockwood Music Hall. Back home. Back home. Back home. We're parked outside of Rockwood. 
Yeah. You all look very tired. Yeah, because we've spent, how, how long have we spent in the car? 48 hours, 25 minutes, and 17 seconds. Oh. Josh Bailey! Josh Bailey. Oh. Everybody give it up for Josh. Josh, oh. Josh Bailey. Oh. Yeah. And uh, let's just give it up for Kelly, too. Kelly, Kelly, yeah! All right, well, we're done. Let's go home. Yeah, let's go home. <laughs> show, tonight, show tonight at Rockwood Music Hall. If anybody is around, uh, buy your tickets now because it's like 130 pre-sale, something absurd. So, Sick. All right. I don't know where my bass is. Where my bass go? I don't know where my center is. Christian Lee on the keyboards, guys. Christian. We'd like to invite, uh, invite a couple more of our friends to the stage. Uh, the first friend we'd like to invite is a guy by the name of Joshua Bailey. Josh Bailey, get on down here! Yeah? One person that you might not recognize from the previous set, and uh, I think he's really, really awesome, and we'd love to play a tune with him, is a guy by the name of Zach Zinger. He's going to shred an Ewe solo on this next tune. I am so grateful and so humbled to have met so many people who enjoy my videos and my music with Sungazer on this tour. It really means the world to me, so thank you if you came out.
Boston. Boston. Okay, so I used to live right there. Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four. I think it was the fifth or sixth floor. Oh, I was thinking that high, but now Yeah, so uh, I remember coming up like and crashing at John's couch, like up there. <laughs> Things really change, huh, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Changed, but it's all like kind of the same too. It's the head shop. Very important that you know where that is. So at the end of every show on this tour, members of both Sungazer and Shub Saran got together on the stage for one last jam, one last family jam on Shub's song, Ascent. Touring can be incredibly stressful. The quality of life can be low. You're in a confined place for a long period of time, and unless you have the right mix of people, it can not be a good situation. Fortunately for me, the people of this tour, the people of Shubgazer 2019, were the best I could ask for. And this family jam every night was just a really something super special to me.
I want to thank everybody so much for watching. I want to thank my patrons over at Patreon for making videos like this possible without you. These videos just would not exist. So thank you so much if you have donated over at my Patreon. Uh, yeah, this was cool. I hope to tour more with Sungazer in the future. Let's make it happen. Peace.